What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do another video for you, and you, and you, and you, you. What's up, y'all? Today is a good day, it's Sunday. I love a good old Sunday meal, don't you? Yes, you do. Today, you guys, I'm going to be making something that I've been seeing for about a year or two um, all around social media, uh, on cooking channels. Um, again, um, I saw this one this the most recent time on uh, Kel's food reaction. And I said, you know, I'm going to give this a little old try. Before we get into this, make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video. I think you're going to like it. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Have your notification bell click so that when I get on here and I do a video, you will be ready. You will be the first one to say, read the cooking. Let's see what Rita was cooking, okay? So let's get on down today, you guys. I'm doing me some good old whew, deep fried stuffed catfish, honey child. Get into the words that I'm saying. Let it salivate in your soul. I am doing deep fried stuffed catfish, you guys. I'm excited about doing this, this uh, recipe. I've been looking at it for a while and threatening my, my family with making it, so... I'm going to go ahead on and make it. So, of course, you know, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting in my catfish. This, some of this stuff is pretty much, it's kind of like personal to you. Like I've seen people stuff it with uh, crawfish and, and, and shrimp. I'm going to be using shrimp and I'm going to be using canned crab meat. Y'all know I'm in love with this bumblebee canned crab meat. It is delicious. It's, it's sweet. It don't have no fishy taste. I love it. It's Good pieces of crab in there. I'm going to be using, like I said, some sautéed shrimp. I'm going to put a little spinach in mine. Some green onions. So your mix, as long as you have... It's a piece of hair in my eye. As long as you have... Okay. As long as you have... Oh, uh, Lord Jesus. I'm trying to be cute. See that? As long as you have some cream cheese, you can put whatever you want in that cream cheese mixture. Okay? Uh, what you want to make sure that you do, make sure your fish is dry. Um, I dry my uh, my fish and I season my fish um, throughout before I get ready to uh, stuff it. So make sure that um, you your mixture is not wet. So let me show you what I'm talking about when I say your mixture is not wet. I've said hello and I gave my love and my kisses and we're going to go on down to this bowl. And let me turn on some uh, additional light too. Wash my hands. <clears throat> Hope this day is, uh, this, this video finds you having a good day. I got stuff everywhere, as you can see, but we're going we gonna to be using it all. So what I have, you guys, uh, is I have me some cream cheese. Come on down, y'all. Come on down, babies. My loves. I'm going to use two bricks, you guys, of this cream cheese. And the reason why is because I have about, let's see, about eight or nine uh, catfish um, two-piece. Well, you know, you say eight or nine, but you know that means 16 or 18. Because it takes two pieces of fish, you guys. To do this stuffed catfish. Now, catfish can get a little bit pricey. So, I suggest that you find it on sale. Or you get you some frozen catfish fillets, which are just as good. Um, but you can find ways to save or get it while it's on sale. And buy you some and then, you know, stack it up until you get ready to do, you know, this um, recipe. But I have, <clears throat> like I said, two bricks of this uh, catfish. Then I have me some some spinach. Now you see how this spinach is just wilted, okay? And what I did is, you know, I fixed this, I cooked it in the, it was frozen, and I cooked it in the microwave to get that ice off and to, you know, break it down. And then, you guys, I, squ I squeezed it for dear life. I got all of that water out of there. You do not want this mixture to be wet. You want this mixture to be a uh, filling so that all your stuffing don't end up in um, your pan, okay? We're going to have to seal it with uh, some um, two picks, and then we're gonna deep fry that sucker. 
and it's good to get you a deep skillet. That was with green onions. Get you a deep skillet so that you don't have to be manipulating your fish your fish too much. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to have to be, uh, let me go get my shrimp too. Coming right back. I have these, um, but you don't want to have to flip your fish and do all too much to it because you don't want to break down. Now, this is just a package of those baby shrimp, the extra small ones. I'm going to leave them whole. You want everything here to be cool. You don't want it hot, okay? So, I put those, after I cooked them, I put them in the freezer for like a few minutes uh, just to get them ready for this uh, little mixing. So, so far we have, we have us some cream cheese, we have us some spinach, <clears throat> we have us some green onions, and we have us some shrimp. And then we're going to put us some crab meat in there. You can put crawfish in here. Uh, I've seen people put, uh, use, uh, what do you call it? Claw meat, uh, crab claw meat, you know. So you can use fresh crab, whatever you want to do. That's up to you, you guys, okay? You just want a good filling, okay? You want a good stuffing, okay? That you're going to be stuffing with. So I'm going to mix this all up really, really good. I'm going to add me some Obey seasoning. And I'm going to add me some lemon pepper as well. And like I said, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when I said I seasoned my fish. After I dried my fish off, I seasoned that thing. And the reason why I'm seasoning this so good is because I want the inside of my um, stuffing. I want that stuffing to taste just as good. Now, I have seen people put uh, some shredded cheese in here. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to let the cream cheese be the only cheese. But you can, of course, you can. It's so many recipes for this, you guys. It's so many ways you can do it. But at the end of the day, it's about what do you like, you know. I let this uh, cream cheese get to room temperature. Um, let it sit out. So you want everything to be spreadable. That's what I want the word to be. I want it to be spreadable. You don't want it to be loose and wet. You want it to do to be spreadable. So let me mix this up and then when I come back we're going to um step one. I'm going to two pick it up and I'm going to show you what we're going to do, okay? Hold on just a second. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I'm going to show you guys how I stuff these catfish and as you can tell, I think you can kind of see that they are seasoned, you know. I've seasoned them with some sauce and pepper, some of my um, Cajun seasoning, some uh, Obey. So I season that as well. And the flour, I'm not gonna put anything in the in the catfish fry because you know it's already kind of seasoned. This Louisiana, so you know. But let me tell you something. I want this thing. Uh, stuffed from the tip to the tip, you know, I want it stuffed. I want to get that stuffing in every bite. So I go from tip to tip. Okay. That's how I do it. Make sure you taste your filling, uh, and make sure you like the flavor of it. I tasted it and it was delicious. And I think it's going to be delicious when I, uh, fry it up. Okay. You want to get it as matchy as you can like that and then you just put you some uh toothpicks to secure secure it okay i kind of put them on both sides a couple on each side you just want to keep as much of that filling intact as you can okay you can remove those toothpicks as you know once you're done. You just remove those toothpicks, okay? And I have to put some at this end down here. You know, you just wanna. You don't want all of your filling in your skillet, okay? Right? All the way through, okay? Now, once you get it in your flour, let me show you your whatever you're frying it in. I'm gonna be using, like I said, Louisiana fish fry. You don't want to be roughing it up too much. You're going to take your seasoning and you're just going to bring it up over your uh, 
place just like this, okay? Get them on all the things. Get it on everything just like that. All the way around, okay? Then flip it easy, gently, gently free. Flip that sucker. Once you got it everywhere, flip it around. You see what I'm doing? Just like that. Now let me, I'm gonna let the um, let the uh, grease get hot, and we're gonna fry it up, okay? Like I said, fry it is something that you don't have to do a whole bunch of turning and stuff. That was my main thing. I didn't want to have to be turning the fl and flipping it over, so I got a, a deep um, a deep pot. And this pot I know fries up stuff really good. It is my deep bottom uh, so. Uh, cast iron um, Dutch oven so I know that it's gonna be able to you know hold this fish in place without me having to do too much to it so when I wash my hands we're gonna go to the to the uh, fryer and I'm gonna show you how we do it okay hold on just a second let me make sure our grease is ready. Make sure the grease is good and hot. Let me check it right quick. Let's see. Like it might be. Let me take a little bit of this flour. Okay, I'm gonna take y'all over there. Hold on. Okay, you guys, I think my fit, my uh, grease is ready. We're just gonna go right down into this, into this uh, skillet, to this Dutch oven, really is what it is. And I, I think I want some more toothpicks on that one. So we're gonna put this one in. Woo! It's heavy. He stuff, him stuff. I'll put him in there. Away from my face, put them down. Okay. Put a couple of more toothpicks in the back of this one. Yeah, see, I wanted this covering that whole thing, and that's great for me. I didn't want to have to do too much to it. I'm going to put this one in as well. Put it in away from my face. Drop it in the pan, right? Let that sucker cook. Watch it for me, y'all. Watch it for me. Clean a little bit while I, while I cook. Take a look. No, it ain't ready yet. Mmm, y'all. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. When we come back, we're gonna see what it looked like. Hold on. Okay, y'all ready to see what we got? Let's see what we got, y'all. Let's see what we got. There she comes. Ooh. Wee. Would you look at that? Wow. Wowzers. Oh, I got a toothpick. Look at that, y'all. Oh, <laughs> that 
that is gonna be so good. That is gonna be so. I need to iron my, my little steel one. I don't know where it's at though. Look at that. Look at that. Let me fry the rest of these up, y'all. I'm gonna fry the rest of these up. You're gonna get a little bit of loss of feeling, but I didn't get a lot. Here's what I got from those two catfish. Just this little bit right here. So I'm gonna fry the rest of mine up and we'll be back and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside, okay? Here we are, you guys. I have my dirty rice on here. This is my stuffed catfish. Before I break it open for you guys, I'm just going to pour me a little of this butter. All it is is melted butter with some um, lemon pepper seasoning, okay? That's all it is. I'm just going to put it right on the top right here, just like this. Guys, see that? Yummy. And look at this, you guys. Just going to break it open for you guys. Do you see that? Oh, they look delicious. Look at that, will ya? So let's pray and let's take a bite. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to come together for another video. Spend some time with my readers, eaters. Lord, I ask if they're praying for any, if my subjects are praying for any issue, God, please hear their cry. And if you don't heal the situation or fix the situation, God, you help them through the situation. God, we ask we bring this food before you and we ask that you Bless the hands that prepared it and let it be a nourishment to our bodies. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, I'm going to let this up a little bit because I'm going to taste this. I'm going to taste this. And I know y'all, I know y'all still looking at it. You look at it. And I know y'all want to see my face when I taste this beautiful thing. Okay. I got it on. I uh, changed my, um, ooh, ooh, Lord, Lord, I've been on mess this thing up and I lose ya. So, I'm going to taste this. Ooh, I'm going to give y'all a bite. I'm going to give y'all a bite. I'm going to put some of that rice on there and on that rice on there. Then I'm going to get a little bit of that fish on there. Here, here, blow it, blow it. Now, taste it. What you think? How it tastes? I'm gonna taste it. Do mm. shit, mm. nigga. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Uh uh. Baby, baby, baby. This is. Delicious. Do y'all hear me? Y'all gotta make this. If you're uh, interested in making the dirty rice, I have a video with the dirty rice on there as well. And um, y'all, I ain't gonna keep y'all long. Uh, I've been on my feet and doing stuff all day. So I am going to take me a shower. I'm gonna feed my daughter and I am going to sit down for the rest of the night. It's late for me on a Sunday. Y'all know I like to be through my dinner about five o'clock and it's almost seven o'clock p.m. on a Sunday. You guys will get this uh, video on a Monday. So be looking for this video. Um, I'm gonna try to get more consistent again with the one, at least one video a week and it'll be on a Monday. So you guys can have a video that, you know, you can uh, go get your things for and cook it later in the week or that day or whatever. So I always make sure you have that notification bell pressed, okay? So you'll know when I'm going to be doing these videos. And uh, I always access that um, description box because that's where I give you what you need and tell you what you need. But here with me and you is where I break it down and I show you guys really what I'm doing, okay? Okay. Mm. So I'm going to see you guys on the next one. When we see where Rita's cooking, don't forget your food ain't always live until it's being Rita-tized. And we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.